Hey, hey everyone! The Scandinavian interior design trend is bigger than ever and it's so beautiful, but it's often confused with other styles that aren't even remotely Scandinavian. It's also a style that's very easy to achieve in your home, but most people overlook the most important steps of getting there. So from one Scandinavian to you, let me share our best kept secrets for a beautiful Scandinavian looking home. Number one, and this is so important because this is where most people fail, and that is the base. In general, Scandinavian homes are very well built. They have thick insulated walls with big, beautiful windows, and they're very structurally sound. However, if you live in a modern home that has vinyl flooring, plastic furniture, cheap appliances, and barely any insulation, it's gonna be very difficult to achieve the Scandinavian style. This is because the Scandinavian look is all about the base. We live in a very dark part of the world, so we tend to make our homes very bright and very well lit. So we like to color all our walls with white, to paint everything white, so that we have a very fresh and clean surface to start working with. So if this is not your home, there are certain aspects of this that you can still apply, but the base is definitely the most important part for achieving the Scandinavian look. This also includes my second point, which is the importance of the floors. I don't think there's anything that says Scandi home as much as a solid hardwood floor, preferably aged and very beautiful. Growing up in Sweden and Norway, everyone had hardwood floors. I didn't even really know carpeted flooring was a thing. And carpet and vinyl flooring is never gonna be able to compete with the timeless and natural look of timber flooring. If you're looking for that musig, hygge, or kuslig feel, which is what we do in Scandinavia, the base and the floor is extremely, extremely important. The secret to the Scandinavian light floors is bleaching them with something that we call soap or sopa. This is an eco-friendly, affordable, and super easy option if you want your floors to look like the bleached Scandinavian hardwood floors. All you have to do is wash the floor until it becomes your desired color. I remember doing this myself when I was only 13, and I washed the floor in my bedroom to make it have this beautiful bleach sort of look. We only wash the floor twice, so it really depends on how light you want the floor to turn out. But with this comes a word of caution. You have to remember that in Scandinavia, we never ever wear shoes inside because this can scratch the floor. It also is less hygienic and it won't make it look as nice. So if you're using soap on your floor, please do not walk inside with your shoes on. The third secret for achieving a beautiful Scandinavian home is to be aware of minimalism, storage, and stuff. Although minimalism isn't a Scandinavian tradition, Scandinavian homes are in general a lot less cluttered than, for example, American homes. So this is a really important part of the Scandinavian interior design trend. And it's not only about clutter, it's about stuff. It's about the things that we have in our spaces. In Scandinavian homes, you'll often find high quality and long lasting furniture and pieces, and you won't really find any gadgets or things lying around. Compared to when I visited friends in the US and they have these huge sofas that take up the entire living room and they have a TV bench with lots of stuff on it and there's stuff on every table. And it's very different to how we style and design our homes in Scandinavia. So to create the airy feel of the Scandinavian design, have smart storage solutions in combination with decluttering and not buying any new stuff. My favorite interior design tip is bigger is better and less is more. So consider adding two big pillows in your sofa instead of five small ones, or having one huge plant instead of five little pots. This will make your home look more curated, more beautiful, and less cluttered. The fourth key point is using only natural materials. This is materials like natural fibers, untreated wood, glass, ceramics, and metals, natural and raw materials that look very solid and high quality. Plastic, painted wood, and polyester fabrics just don't go very well with the Scandinavian interior design trend. My favorite thing about this tip is that it's not only about what it looks like, it's about the utility and the environmentally friendly aspect of the home. Things have to serve a function and they also have to last for a long time. A really important aspect about this, which I feel like every interior design YouTuber forget, is that one rattan basket that's made in China putting that in your home to declutter something or to hide something in, that is not gonna create the Scandinavian style you're after. You need to buy high quality pieces that feel and look real and declutter rather than adding stuff. And the fifth point is light. In Scandinavia, it's dark and cold literally six months of the year. So light is very, very important to how we decorate our homes. 
The Swedish saying goes that you need five to 10 sources of light in every single room. Now that might sound like a lot, but if you remove the overhead LED super harsh lighting, you'll see that that might be necessary. Make sure that light sources are dimmable or that they're covered in some sort of fabric or cover to make sure that the light is soft and not harsh. My favorite DIY for a cheap and affordable ceiling light that's also beautiful comes from Swedish designer Marie Olsen Nylander. She basically took a regular ceiling light and wrapped it with some wire and linen fabric and I think she might have even stapled it together and it just created this beautiful gorgeous hanging light that I dream of in my future house. My next tip might be a little bit of a different one, but that is to avoid patterns. Now, this is not necessarily a rule for Scandinavian design. You can absolutely use patterns, but this rule is for people who have grown up with a completely different style and want to approach the Scandinavian style. And for you, I'd like to say that the first and most important rule is to not use patterns. So that means no pillows with writing on them, no curtains with lots of patterns on them, no bed sheets with patterns on them. This way you'll create that minimalist Scandinavian look. And then as you get more confident, you can start adding patterns that actually fit in with the scheme and that aren't too loud. My seventh tip is for when we incorporate new items in our home and that is aesthetics plus utility plus quality equals your dream Scandinavian home. Follow this rule and only bring items into your home that are one serve a purpose, two are aesthetically pleasing, and three are of high quality and long lasting. And this rule applies to literally everything. So from your pots and pans to your appliances to all your decorating items, this is so, so important to keep in mind for your Scandinavian looking home. So instead of indulging in consumerism, look for items that last and things you might have to save up to get to. This will also make the items feel more special and you won't over consume and create a cluttered home. Number nine is a great tip because this can apply to anyone no matter what your home looks like and that is super clean. One of the most important concepts for Swedish people is the concept of being whole and clean. This means that no matter the situation, you must present yourself, your home, and all your belongings as whole and clean. As a culture, this is what we take pride in and it's really, really important for us. This is also one of the biggest reasons I think that Sweden really hasn't approached the trend yet of wearing leggings and gym clothes when they go out. Instead, you often see people in Scandinavia wearing actual clothes. Cleaning, I think, is one of the most underrated but important things of how your home looks and feels. So my suggestion is to create a solid cleaning routine for your home. I made a video on minimalist and natural cleaning so you don't have to use any toxins. This way your home will smell nice and it will look clean and it'll also feel so cozy to be in. So those are some of my tips for creating a beautiful Scandinavian looking home. I really hope you like them. I think there is so much information out there on the Scandinavian design and I always see people saying, oh, Scandinavian inspired. And it's just things that I've never ever seen in Scandinavia and that looks nothing like the modern, airy and fresh Scandinavian design. So I think it's a great trendy word that a lot of people use to describe just modern just decorating, but modern decorating and Scandinavian are quite different styles. So if you're interested in Scandinavian interior design, I hope this video was of help for you or if you just like some of the tips for your apartment or house or wherever you live in the meantime. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see y'all next week. Bye.